welcome to Princess Pantry. Today on Princess Pantry, we're gonna be making wintry chocolate chip cookies. <gasps> How exciting, well, what makes them wintry? Well, instead of the normal plain chocolate chips, we're gonna be using white chocolate chips. Oh. That's what's gonna make them wintry. So it's like snow or snowballs. Yes, exactly. How wonderful. Just well, a little twist. Yes. Well, what do we need to make our wintry chocolate chip cookies? Here's the things you need to make chocolate chip cookies at home. All-purpose flour. We like to use gluten-free because we like to be allergy-friendly. Chocolate chips. Of course, you can use white or chocolate, whatever kind you want. Sometimes there's even colored ones. There is. Or you can even put M&Ms or some kind of other candy in there if you really wanted to. But since we're doing wintery ones, we're gonna do white. Absolutely. We also need brown sugar, white sugar, uh, vanilla, butter, eggs, baking soda, and cream of tartar. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get started. Can you hand me a little bowl? We should do our dry ingredients first. So first we need two and a fourth cups of flour. Thank you. So let's get going. One. Woo! <laughs> Two. And a fourth. Perfect. I can get it out. <laughs> a little baking soda. Can you hand me the fourth teaspoon, please? Absolutely. So now we need a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda. And then next we need a half teaspoon of cream of tartar. A half teaspoon of cream of tartar. We forgot to mention earlier, we also need salt. Uh-huh, a half a teaspoon. Perfect. And now we're gonna whisk all of our dry ingredients together and set it aside. I like whiskey. Mm -hmm. It helps keep everything really even, and it makes your cookies, or whatever you're making, turn out much better. It's a good way to blend. Mm -hmm. Blending is very important when it comes to cooking. Sure. Thing. Unless the recipe states otherwise. All right, so we'll set that aside. And now it's time to do our wet ingredients. First, we're gonna add some softened butter. And brown sugar. We need one cup of butter, so that would be two smaller butter things or one giant one like this. Next, we're gonna add three fourths cup of the packed brown sugar, but we don't have a three fourth cup, so we're gonna use a half a cup and a fourth cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. What are we need next, Sandra? The white sugar. <laughs> and we're gonna need three fourths cup of white sugar as well. Yeah. Not hard to get into that. I like sugar. Makes everything taste sweet. Delicious. Here we go. And now we just need to get a mixer or a hand mixer and blend it all together. Then we will add one egg each at a time, blending very well. Wonderful. Well, I happen to have a hand mixer right here. Wonderful. Let's put the beaters in. 
Well, I think so. <laughs> It'd be pretty pointless without them. It would. I did not get it in there. <laughs> but we do need some of our vanilla, actually. Oh, good, because I'm still up. Oh, I think I got it that time. And no. a tablespoon of vanilla, so we'll do two half teaspoons. I cannot seem to get this in here. I got it. Sometimes you might want to, because you don't want to go all over your kitchen. So the butter can be a little hard to hand mix. So sometimes you have to stop and reassess the situation. Now we're gonna add one egg and blend, and then add the next egg. It's so much nicer with the egg. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to add in our dry ingredients, but just a little bit at a time. But before we do that, I want you all at home to see how this is supposed to look before we add the dry ingredients. It should look mixed like this. This way you know everything's blended thoroughly and well and that it's time to add the dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. And don't do it all at once because it'll be way too hard to... You'll get a cloud of dry ingredients in your face if you do too much at once. Well, and it's just too hard to blend. It's gonna get pretty hard to blend at the end anyway. Now we gotta make sure we get all the extra batter out of the beaters here. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be time to add in our chocolate chip. And we'll be ready to get it on our baking sheet. Mm. And then we can bake them and eat them. Perfect. That's my favorite part, eating whatever we make. Well, and it's nice to share with your friends or your family or just have a nice treat Well, and you on know, a winter day. Yeah, it's so cold in January and February, so it's nice to have, you know, maybe come home from school and have a nice warm chocolate chip cookie or if you've been outside playing in the snow or the rain, it's just a nice little treat to have when you come home. Mm -hmm. Well, if you'd like to put that back in the um, sink, I will add in these chocolate chips. All right. So go ahead and add all your chocolate chips and then with a mixing spoon, just mix it all together really well so it's just, just Distributed evenly throughout the batter. How about, do you think we, maybe we should clean everything off once we're done here and get it ready to put everything on the sheets? I believe so. Good idea, Cinderella. Let's do it. All right, everyone, it's time to scoop our batter out and get our cookies on the pan and put it in the oven. So I recommend using a bigger size spoon. You don't want them to be too big because they could possibly run together. And too small might burn them. So a medium size. So about a spoonful. And then you scoop it and you put it there. And I would do three across. These are going to be so good. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready to put them in our preheated oven for nine to 11 minutes. We'll start with nine minutes and check after that. And if you look ready, we'll take them out. Otherwise, we'll add some more time. Let's go. Would you open the oven, please, Aurora? Absolutely. Mmm, they smell delicious. I'm so excited. There's nothing like fresh, warm cookies on a cold day. Absolutely, should we try one? I think so. Should we do cookie cheers? Oh yes. Cheers. Mmm. It's a little crumbly, but so good. Very yummy. I'm so glad we made them and I hope that you enjoy them at home as well. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching us make cookies and you think you're gonna make some yourself. And don't forget to follow us on all our social media like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. 
We look forward to seeing you next time on Princess Pantry. Princess Pantry.